I'm looking for things that are really specific. So not that I go out with set rules, but I think in my head I have criteria that like what works and what doesn't. Most of my materials come from the garbage. I'm looking for things that kind of inherently, even though they're maybe used, they have this kind of quality that they're still just raw material. To me, they still hold this quality of being a form. And I think like I really come at everything thinking about like basic abstract painting quality. So it's like what's its shape, what's its color, what's its weight. And I'm usually putting these things on the wall, so weight is actually a really big thing. It's like, can I get this on the wall? I'm actively trying to be more bold than I usually am. And I don't know why exactly, but I was thinking about this space as a theater. And I recently was at this Dolly Parton concert and she always wears these like crazy rhinestone glittered outfits. She said something on stage like, you always have to wear one thing that the people in the back can see. And I don't know why, but when I was at the concert, I was like, oh man, the piece I'm doing at Penn State, I need something in the piece that somebody from the back can see. There has to be this kind of bold element to it. Being subtle here just doesn't really make sense. And I want it to really make a statement from the street. So normally everything's applied directly on the wall, one thing after the next. So it's very call and response where I can't really change my mind and the decisions I make, I have to stick with them. So if I put a piece of plywood on the wall, I screw it in, I'm not touching it again. With this piece, everything will eventually be screwed together in sections. So there's five sections in the piece. I don't exactly know what's gonna happen, <laughs> but I feel like the main difference right now is there's this kind of integration that's happening that usually when I'm working on the wall, it's a bit more of a struggle. It's a little bit more forward thinking. Here I can just kind of change my mind whenever. It's interesting. It feels very opposite. So it's this balance of figuring out how to get these things to stay up on the wall but still capture this sense of movement or freeze frame where it's as if when the viewer comes to the piece they're looking at a moment but maybe when the viewer turns everything drops to the floor. I like that illusion where it's like the piece is holding its breath.